What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to a very special episode of Through the Mail Thursdays with Remember the Great Sports. I am celebrating my 200th consecutive episode of Through the Mail Thursdays. So that means that for the last 200 weeks, I have posted a Through the Mail video. And that's been through COVID. That's been through, you know, a move on my part. So I'm very proud to have hit this milestone. And I have a lot of TTMs that I have to share still with you. So I really racked my brain to figure out who do I want to share this episode, this special episode with. And I got this TTM back. And this is very rare on my channel. And I'll just talk about this person right now. And it is postmarked from California, from Hockey Hall of Famer, Willie O'Ray. And this was just a no-brainer. For some of those that don't know who Willie O'Ray is, Willie O'Ray was the first African-American hockey player to play in the NHL. He has been called the Jackie Robinson of hockey. Now, everybody knows who Jackie Robinson is. You know, I've talked about him on my channel many, many times. But for whatever reason, a lot of people don't know the story of the first black player in hockey the first black player in the NFL, the first black player in the NBA. Those are not common names that are thrown out there. And so, to celebrate my 200th episode, this is not just going to be about TTMs, but this is going to be about remembering one of the greatest pioneers in the history of sports. I'm not just talking about hockey I'm talking about the trailblazing efforts that this man made during his lifetime and the struggles that he went through and the adversity that he went through to play professional hockey. If you stay with me to the end of this video, I'm also going to have an announcement for a giveaway that I'm going to do with this video. So stay with me. But what's first? Focus on Willie O'Ray and his entire career. This episode is going to be different from other TTMs as I'm only going to talk about Willie in this episode. His, I could do a documentary video on Willie himself. So I'm going to try to squeeze it all in into this video. And maybe in the future, I'll go back and do maybe like a documentary type of video that I've done on other athletes. So let me tell you about Willie O'Ray. Willie Eldon O'Ray was born in Canada and played wing for the Boston Bruins. Willie was not the first to break the color barrier in the NHL. That actually went to Larry Kwong, who about 10 years before Willie played a professional hockey game. Willie actually was not the first black player to sign a contract to play in the NHL either. That went to Art Dorrington. But Willie was the first to make it to the professional ranks as the first black hockey player. So what a lot of people don't know about Willie is that he signed his professional contract to play at first in the minors, I guess you would call it. So he actually played, it looks like, nearly seven years professionally before he was called up to play and sign with the Boston Bruins. Well, he only appeared his first year with Boston in two games that season. After his appearance of just two games for Boston in 1957 and 58, Willie would go back to the minor leagues and he would play for 
the Springfield Indians, the Quebec Aces, the Kingston Frontenacs, until 1960, he would again uh, be back up to the NHL, appearing in 43 games for the Boston Bruins. He only played those two seasons in the NHL. But what a lot of people don't realize is that he played all the way through the 1978-79 season for various minor league affiliates in hockey. If he would have played one more season getting into 1980, his career would have lasted four decades in professional hockey. Now he only appeared in a grand total of 45 games in the NHL, but he appeared in nearly 800 games in minor league hockey, playing you know in the PHL, the WHL, the SoCal Senior League, the I mean it, the QHL, the EPHL, but he played almost four decades in the sport of hockey. So after his playing career, he became an ambassador with the NHL. And in 2018, as you can see how it's inscribed in the cards there, he was elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Some of the other honors that Mr. O'Reilly has achieved, aside from being in the Hockey Hall of Fame, he was also just recently elected to the Canada's Sports Hall of Fame in 2021. He's in the Brit Bard Hall of Fame. He has in Fredericton Arena, where he once played, is called Willie O'Ray Place, which was dedicated in 2008. He earned the Lester Patrick Trophy in 2003. He was elected to the New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame in 1984. I just thought on this channel it was very important to celebrate my 200th episode through the mail by featuring this individual. And here's something I do want to say is uh, Mr. O'Ray does require $5 per signature. And I, I always say I will put that in the description below, you know, if, if I did uh, give a donation, which was well worth it, in my opinion, to get this Pioneer Hall of Fame hockey player. And one of the things that I wrote on my note to him was like, could you please sign it in blue because it's kind of got a dark background and as you can see the dark background. Well, he didn't sign it in blue. Uh, he went as far as going out and finding his own silver Sharpie and signing it in silver, which looks better than what it would have looked like in blue anyway, in my opinion. So I just want to say thank you, Mr. O'Ray, for signing for me. I want to say thank you for those who have joined me for 200 straight weeks. I know maybe you haven't been with me from day one, but maybe you came along in year two or year one or whatever. But I'm very happy to move forward. You know, hopefully we'll be talking about 500 episodes before we know it. And this is the part I wanted you to stick around for. I want to ask you, the viewers, the other TTMers out there, you don't have to be a TTMer to win this, but I am going to randomly select two people that comment on this video and send them blank copies of this card. So these are my signed ones, I'm not sending you those, but I'm going to send you, one person's going to get this card, one person's going to get this card. And I'm going to provide you the address that you need to write him with. I'm not going to provide you the $5 though. But I will send you this card or this card. And I want to randomly have my viewers that comment below do that. And here's what you have to do to take it a step further, okay? Not only do you have to thumbs up this video, but I also would like you to comment on this video. But I want you to go all the way back to episode number one and I will post it right up here in the corner if you go to episode one of my first TTM video I simply just want you to type in in the comments Willie O'Ray this individual's name so two things or three things actually one like the video two leave a comment down below right there and three Go to my first TTM video and comment Willie O'Ray 
and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. So give that one a thumbs up too, my first video. And then from all the people that do that, I'm going to randomly select your name and, you know, the random Jumbotron or whatever that's called, you know, spin it or random.org it or whatever. And two of you will receive these cards from me for you to send TTM to Mr. O'Ray. And again, I'll provide the address. So thank you again for joining me for 200 episodes, 200 weeks in a row. It's been, you know, a long journey. And I hope you join me for many, many more episodes. And thank you very much for listening to the profile of Mr. Willie O'Ray, who is a pioneer in his sport and in culture alike. Happy collecting.